Well, the other big game of Pool 3 is Ulster v Bath. And if Ulster win at the weekend, they are guaranteed a quarter final. I've bagged myself a trip over to Belfast because I'm meeting two of the outstanding players for them this season. It's the final round, you're back at home and it's going to be a sellout. How excited are you? Yeah, it would have been good to be Claremont last week, but it's all off to play for now. And, and we were in the quarterfinal last year and, and we were pretty disappointed with that loss. So we said we want to come back this year and, and make the quarters again. So it's important that we play well this weekend and, and a win we know will get us into that quarterfinal. So how much have you enjoyed this championships? Yeah, it's been awesome. Um, like John touched on, we had a really good experience in, in it last year. We were disappointed to, to lose that game down in the Aviva, but um, it's a great competition for us. Like it's as you touched on, it's always a sellout crowd. There are always special special nights here, and you get to go to the best the best teams in Europe away, like Claremont last week. Albeit not the result we wanted was was a huge experience, but it all counts for nothing if we don't win this weekend and we, and we don't get through. So we're very much focused on, on getting a performance and hopefully a, a good result this weekend. The man sat next to you, 29 years old, in ridiculous form, but is it down to the fact that you've now come over to Ulster? Yeah, I'll take full credit for that, I think. <laughs> I'll take full credit. No, yeah, he's been class. This year, obviously, we're, we're in, a, in the second year of, of Dan McFarlane's sort of tenure here. It's really suited the way that, that John and the rest of the boys want to play. Obviously, you're both in brilliant form, but you are taking quite a lot of the pressure off Billy by doing the kicking. It hasn't been good for my back, uh, carrying him, having to do all the kicking for him, but uh, it's been good because he's just been carrying a bit of a niggle, so... It's, all we want is him to be on the field each week and, and whatever we need to do to get him back. Uh, I know he likes doing a lot of the kicking, so it's important that when he, he's back, I'll gladly give back to him. I've probably actually learned to go the opposite and I'm probably doing a little bit less. And, and sometimes you can probably overtrain and, and something I definitely probably did in the past. Where now I, I kind of try to do a lot more on the mental side and even just switching off outside of rugby, it's, it's something that's very important. And, and something definitely before games, I, I like to read certain books and stuff like that. that that trigger me for the games to, to kind of relax and also psychologically feel good going into the game. Billy, you smirked when John talked about reading. Not not for you? No, I struggle I struggle reading the books. Um, it's not my not my main game. I, I tend to go home and play a bit of PlayStation and chill out that way. But um, obviously the book reading's working for John at the moment, so he can read as many books as he wants. So you've come over to Ireland, you do qualify through your granddad. Your mum's pretty well known around Bath and also the rugby community. If you did get a chance to wear a green shirt, do you think she'd change allegiance? Um, I hope so. She just wants the best for all of us, as all mums do, but she's a little bit of a nut job, so she'll, uh, I'm, I'm sure she'll be there if, if it ever did happen, supporting me and just making sure that I get through the game unscathed, I think. Would you pick him? Um, in the form he's in, it would be hard not to, wouldn't it? I think he's been, he's been great for us. Um, he was great down in camp. Um, but listen, I'm a, that's why I'm a player and not a coach. I'll leave that to, to those guys to do, but they've got some, some pretty tough decisions, that's for sure. So looking forward to this weekend, are you guys going to finish the job? It's the plan, that's the plan. It's going to be tough. I think um, Bath will be pretty disappointed with their result, obviously, on the weekend against Quinns. Um, they'll come here with, with nothing to lose, which, which we're fully, fully aware of. We know it's going to be a really tough challenge, but we're excited to be back at home. Fingers crossed we get the job done.